In this video, we are going to discuss the partial derivatives of second order and cross partial derivatives or mixed partial derivatives. Let us take an example of a bivariate function z equals f of x comma y. A bivariate function is a function which contain two independent variables. For independent variable x, the first partial derivative is denoted by z subscript x or f subscript x which is equal to del z by del x that is partial derivative of z with respect to x. Now in case of independent variable x, the partial derivative of second order can be represented as z subscript x x or f subscript x x which is equal to del square z by del x square or partial derivative with respect to x of the first order partial derivative with respect to x. The second order partial derivative for independent variable x is obtained by taking the partial derivative with respect to x twice. For independent variable y, the first partial derivative is denoted by z subscript y or f subscript y which is equal to del z by del y that is partial derivative of z with respect to y. In case of independent variable y, the partial derivative of second order can be represented as z subscript yy or f subscript yy which is equal to del square z by del y square or partial derivative with respect to y of the first order partial derivative with respect to y. The second order partial derivative for independent variable y is obtained by taking the partial derivative with respect to y twice. Let us now discuss the technique of mix or cross partial derivatives. The mix or cross partial derivative is a double partial derivative. It is obtained by taking the partial derivative with respect to one of the two variables and then again taking partial derivative with respect to the other variable. Z subscript xy or f subscript xy is obtained by taking the partial derivative with respect to x first and then with respect to y. Z subscript xy or f subscript xy is equal to del square z by del y del x that is partial derivative with respect to y of the first order partial derivative with respect to x. The cross partial derivative z subscript xy or f subscript xy is obtained by taking the partial derivative with respect to x and then y. z subscript yx or f subscript yx is obtained by taking the partial derivative with respect to y first and then with respect to x. z subscript yx or f subscript yx is equal to del square z by del x del y that is partial derivative with respect to x of the first order partial derivative with respect to y. The cross partial derivative z subscript yx or f subscript yx is obtained by taking the partial derivative with respect to y and then with respect to x. Let us now discuss what does the Young's theorem says. According to the theorem, if the function is differentiable, then the corresponding cross partial derivatives are equal. That is f subscript xy is equal to f subscript yx or del square z by del y del x is equal to del square z by del x del y. Let us now proceed to do a problem on finding the second order partial derivatives and cross partial derivatives or mixed partial derivatives of a given function. In the question, they have given a function z equals 2x cube y plus 5xy square plus 10. We need to find the first order partial derivatives with respect to x and y, the second order partial derivatives with respect to x and y, and we need to show that the cross partial derivatives are equal. Let us first find the partial derivative with respect to x. The partial derivative of z with respect to x is denoted by del z by del x, which is equal to partial derivative with respect to x of 2x cube y plus 5xy square plus 10. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of 2x cube y plus 5xy square plus 10 is equal to partial derivative with respect to x of the first term plus partial derivative 
with respect to x of the second term plus partial derivative with respect to x of the third term. Now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x, y must be treated as a constant. Using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of 2x cubed y is equal to 2y times partial derivative with respect to x of x cubed plus again since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x y must be treated as a constant using the constant times a function rule the partial derivative with respect to x of 5xy square is equal to 5y square times partial derivative with respect to x of x plus using the constant function rule the partial derivative with respect to x of constant 10 is equal to 0. Using the power function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of x cube is equal to 3x square plus 5y square. The partial derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1. 2 times 3 equals 6x square y plus 5y square times 1 equals 5y square. Therefore, the first partial derivative of z with respect to x is equal to 6x square y plus 5y square. Let us now find the first partial derivative of z with respect to y. The first partial derivative of z with respect to y is denoted by del z by del y, which is equal to partial derivative with respect to y of 2x cubed y plus 5xy square plus 10. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of 2x cubed y plus 5xy square plus 10 is equal to partial derivative with respect to y of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to y of the second term plus partial derivative with respect to y of the third term. Now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to y, x must be treated as a constant. Using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of 2x cubed y is equal to 2x cubed times partial derivative with respect to y of y plus again since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to y x must be treated as a constant using the constant times a function rule the partial derivative with respect to y of 5xy square is equal to 5x times partial derivative with respect to y of y square plus using the constant function rule the partial derivative with respect to y of constant 10 is equal to 0 the partial derivative with respect to y of y is equal to 1 plus 5x using the power function rule the partial derivative with respect to y of y square is equal to 2y 2x cubed times 1 equals 2x cubed plus 5 times 2 equals 10xy therefore the first partial derivative of z with respect to y is equal to 2x cubed plus 10xy let us now find the second order partial derivative with respect to x. The second order partial derivative with respect to x is obtained by taking the partial derivative with respect to x twice and it is denoted by del square z by del x square which is equal to partial derivative with respect to x of the first order partial derivative with respect to x. The first order partial derivative with respect to x is equal to 6x square y plus 5y square. So in place of del z by del x, we will write down 6x square y plus 5y square. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of 6x square y plus 5y square is equal to partial derivative with respect to x of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to x of the second term. Now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x, y must be treated as a constant. Using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of 6x square y is equal to 6y times partial derivative with respect to x of x square. Plus, again, since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x, y must be treated as a constant. Using the constant function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of 5y square is equal to 0. Using the power function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of x square is equal to 
2x. 6 times 2 equals 12 x y. So the second order partial derivative with respect to x is equal to 12 x y. Let us now find the second order partial derivative with respect to y. The second order partial derivative with respect to y is obtained by taking the partial derivative with respect to y twice and it is denoted by del square z by del y square which is equal to partial derivative with respect to y of the first order partial derivative with respect to y. Since the first order partial derivative with respect to y is equal to 2x cubed plus 10xy, so in place of del z by del y, we will write down 2x cubed plus 10xy. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of 2x cubed plus 10xy is equal to partial derivative with respect to y of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to y of the second term. Now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to y, x must be treated as a constant. Using the constant function rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of 2x cubed is equal to 0. Plus, again, since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to y, x must be treated as a constant. Using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of 10xy is equal to 10x times partial derivative with respect to y of y. The partial derivative with respect to y of y is equal to 1. 10x times 1 equals 10x. Therefore, the second order partial derivative with respect to y is equal to 10x. Let us first find the cross partial derivative z subscript xy. The cross partial derivative z subscript xy is equal to del square z by del y del x which is equal to partial derivative with respect to y of the first order partial derivative with respect to x. The first order partial derivative with respect to x is equal to 6x square y plus 5y square. So in place of del z by del x, we will write down 6x square y plus 5y square. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of 6x square y plus 5y square is equal to partial derivative with respect to y of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to y of the second term. Now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to y, x must be treated as a constant. Using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of 6x square y is equal to 6x square times partial derivative with respect to y of y plus using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of 5y square is equal to 5 times partial derivative with respect to y of y square. The partial derivative with respect to y of y is equal to 1 plus 5. Using the power function rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of y square is equal to 2y. 6x square times 1 equals 6x square plus 5 times 2y equals 10y. Therefore, the cross partial derivative z subscript xy which is equal to del square z by del y del x is equal to 6x square plus 10y. Let us now find the cross partial derivative z subscript yx. The cross partial derivative z subscript yx is equal to del square z by del x del y which is equal to partial derivative with respect to x of the first order partial derivative with respect to y. Now the first order partial derivative with respect to y is equal to 2x cubed plus 10xy. So in place of del z by del y, we will write down 2x cubed plus 10xy. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of 2x cubed plus 10xy is equal to partial derivative with respect to x of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to x of the second term. Using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of 2x cubed is equal to 2 times partial derivative with respect to x of x cubed plus now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x y must be treated as a constant using the constant times a function rule the partial derivative with respect to x of 10xy is equal to 10y times partial derivative with respect to x of x using the power function rule the partial derivative with respect to x of x cubed is equal to 3x square plus the partial derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1. 2 times 
3x square equals 6x square plus 10y times 1 equals 10y. Therefore, the cross partial derivative z subscript yx which is equal to del square z by del x del y is equal to 6x square plus 10y. Since the corresponding cross partial derivatives are equal, therefore z subscript xy is equal to z subscript yx which is equal to 6x square plus 10y.